The grand opening of the We Are One New Jersey Hudson County Center brought dozens of people to the Hudson County Improvement Authority building, located at 830 Bergen Avenue in Jersey City, to hear several notable elected officials gush about the occasion. The center, located on the fourth floor, will provide several services to help legal immigrants become citizens of the United States. Hudson County Executive Tom DeGees, who received a ton of praise from other dignitaries for getting this project moving, was the first official to take the podium before introducing U.S. Senator Bob Menendez. The chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee is the son of Cuban immigrants and has been one of the most vocal advocates of immigration reform in recent memory. Today, we are one. One with labor and one with every legal immigrant who wants to become a citizen with all the rights and privileges that come with it. Every legal immigrant who wants to raise his or her hand and take the oath that will change their lives and help them build a better future for themselves and their families. This center potentially could provide services, as you've heard, to nearly 100,000 legal immigrants who live in this county. That's just this county. So think about the state. But here in the most diverse county, probably uh, in, uh, certainly in New Jersey, if not in the nation. But no matter what, uh, people come through these doors, or how many come through these doors, the center will change every one of their lives for the better. But as his counterpart, U.S. Senator Cory Booker, would the duo jokingly refer to as Batman and Robin throughout the day, also expressed how important this new facility could be. But more importantly today, we are celebrating who we are. We are acknowledging the greatness of our country, which is seen in the dignity and the worth of all of our people. The diversity, the tapestry, the rainbow of the globe here in America is what has always made us strong. That statue that stands behind me, we are the state that has liberties back, and it metaphorically holds up a torch hearkening to the ideal of Elijah who said, we shall be a light unto nations. We Americans who pledge ourselves to these ideals can't just deal in metaphors, we must be pragmatic. We must make real those worlds. We must be the people, if that is the torch, we must be the people who are brilliant. We must be those who illuminate and ignite the hope of America. So today I want to say thank you to those folks who are making this day happen, creating the hope that is real and substantive. Tafiri Jebre, the Executive Vice President of the American Federation of Labor and Congress of Industrial Organizations, the AFL-CIO, gave a different perspective by telling his story of coming to America from Ethiopia in his youth. 30 plus years ago, actually entered the United States through Newark Airport here uh, from New Jersey as an immigrant. Uh, As a very young kid, just like the kids you see coming to our borders, uh, running away from a country which was terrorized by war in Ethiopia, a brutal military government, I dreamed of leaving all that horror behind and going to this place called America because I always fantasized about the opportunities that you'd get if you make it to this country. Long story short, we walked for 93 days through a desert to make it to a refugee camp in the Sudan. And I was lucky enough to get a political asylum and come to this country as a political refugee. And no matter what kind of title I would have. Uh, This is the fabric of an immigrant. I'm always an immigrant. Before I'm a black man, I'm an immigrant American. And a lot of us immigrants feel that way. So why do we want to do this? Why do we want to urge immigrants, green card holders, otherwise who can lawfully live in this country and become citizens? Besides the obvious, That is, we need their voice in the daily running of our country. U.S. Rep. Donald Pay Jr. of District 10 praised the progressive thinking of his colleagues who helped make this event happen. And labor has always been there to help the quality of life for people 
trying to pull themselves up by their bootstraps. And this is just another example of how government that cares about people, because there are a lot of people in the two houses that we serve in that could care less about any of this and want to turn the clock back and not serve people and close our borders because they're already doing well. We need to stay uh, true to the mission and the pledge of this country to give us your tired, your weak, and your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. So I'm just really delighted to be here and be a partner in this great, uh, great day. And uh, thank you very much. And let's not forget the American dream for people that are still dreaming. I'm John Itis with Onsa County View, the eye of the community.